Good evening. <laughs> now, what up, though? It's my birthday. You hear birds and the bees. What's happening? No, we no, no. getting ready to come in with the crazy topics today. You know, we coming in with some with some good stuff for for the Valentine's Day. I know y'all want to hear about these like this date topics and stuff. Like, it's gonna get real. I, we gonna get a lot of feedback from the ladies today. I can feel like it's gonna get be a lot of we feedback need it from the ladies. It's only right. This is this is what this is what we want. Some we got some controversial stuff coming in. Like our favorite topic today. I'm gonna just let the spoiler out, and we gonna we gonna drop that double standards. And that's you know, gonna be real chunky though, man. You know we, when it comes to double standards, yeah, it get real. Y'all gonna love that. Yeah, gonna love that so it get like, real when it comes to double standards, and just don't let me go in on it. So we about to we about to you know what I'm saying we about to come in with. With some soft though, just to get y'all, you know what I'm saying, get y'all warmed up. But just know it's my birthday, so we jamming today. <laughs> and moms, I got them bangers for you. I told you, I'm coming with some old school for you. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know some of my yeah. listeners ain't hit, but I got music for everybody. Yeah, it's music for everybody yeah. from 18 years old. Cause you gotta be grown to listen to this. We don't want no kids out here. So tell them why. <laughs> Cause it's too real for the little so, kids. I mean, but explain to me why they be so salty because we playing old bangers. They just don't like it. Because they not. Maybe they just not. Maybe they just not. Maybe they just not educated. Maybe they not just grown enough to listen to this show. They ain't grown enough. We play some grown bangers. Everybody can't be. It's all good. They want to hear Chief Keith. That's what they want to hear, man. Chief Keith. They want to hear Keith. It won't be no Chief Keith. That's what they want to listen to Keith. It won't be no Keith. It won't be no Keith on here. No, no. Nah, yes, nah, Gucci, man. You ain't about to have no beef <laughs> on here, man. No, no. We, we got y'all though today. It's about to be crazy. We about to just drop some bangers for y'all real quick. Something soft for y'all so y'all can just, you know, get in the jam and then we just go come straight in with something crazy. <laughs> on some birds and the bee. I'm really going to be tripping all day today. Y'all better get used to it. Yeah, so I got it ready though? No. Um, I mean, a little bit. I mean, sort of kind of. Like this computer really be tripping though. So I mean, but you know, I mean I guess, you know, I mean I guess we could just sit up here and be like, we're ready to play some bangers. That's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like to me. I mean, you know, never know. I mean just don't wanna have to hit this advance button. Advance for what? Yeah, so we can slot on with this banger. Go on here with it man. So Version of means we'll be right back. Why'd you press advance? Right, Cut the mic off. It's popping off early. I'm saying, you know, double you know, standards. Double mess up them standards. Depends on who you talking to in here. Rain so salty in here, man. Oh, he man. won't let nobody live in here, man. Yeah, everybody in here tripping, man. Hey, oh, we having God. fun today, though, man. Oh, y'all got, got Valentine's Day coming it's up on Saturday. It's a Valentine's Day show. So, hey, 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 music hey, for hey, man. So hey, hey, just, hey, yeah, hey, 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 like how you tip the waiter or the waitress or like how do you tip like your pizza man? We want to know like about <laughs> this because <laughs> like my my dude Austin Jackman came up with this. You know what I'm saying? It was a good topic and <laughs> you know I know a lot of people who don't tip at all, but then you know what I'm saying? I know some some waitresses who say like you know what I'm saying they tip the most because they work. They work as a waitress, so they know. And they you know, know how it is. <laughs> they know what it's like. They, they, know, they, know, they, they know the struggle, so they giving them. You know what I'm saying? They got that that tip calculator in their phone. They want to know what's up. So you know what I'm saying? I want to know what it's like. Like, do y'all tip, or how much do you tip? How much is too much of a tip? Or do you go by the, like the rule? What was that? Like eight percent? Like, like do you go by the rules? Like, I need to know. Let's go ahead around the circle and see who see who really tipping it. Hey, yeah, here you tip, bro. Wow. Y'all gonna start with me, see? Man, I don't, it all depends, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, usually though, <laughs> usually though, if I if I go out though, I'll be like, you know, if I go out with, with like my with my girl or something, like, I if I'm, well, girl? most of the time I'm paying. <laughs> girl? So, hey, you always annoying when I say, when I say <laughs> that, <don't>. man. <laughs> but look, so if I was to go out with my with my girl, like, like majority of the time being a man, I'm going, I'm going to pay. You know, and then, you know, when that bill come back and it's just ridiculous, then I just look back at her <laughs> for that tip, that extra tip, you know what I'm saying? That's I feel like they can meet us halfway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to pay that, that $50 bill. You know, you can give her 
the five dollars, ten dollars tip, which is whatever you do, you know what I'm saying? Like that reads to me though. Is, uh, I'm putting gas in the car to drive and everything. Like I feel like that's that's meeting me halfway. Wow. <laughs> now, I like, we about, now we about to slide it to the man who leaves no tips. <laughs> Everybody look at him. The man eight? Yes. <laughs> what tip? <laughs> Dude, man. Especially I right, look. Okay, I understand if you had like you know you know like a spot like like uh said we're talking about um I don't know if y'all heard of it like Swinsons where the dudes be running all around to get you your food and all that man I understand that but if we talking about a spot where they don't even do nothing to get your food or they mess up the whole time man stop it that's just not gonna happen or we talking about like a like um a wasabi kind of spot why am I about to take my waiter at wasabi and he didn't do nothing but grab me a drink and that's it and collect my money. My ninety dollars he collected. And that's it. Like what do I? What, what else you want me to do? And it's like eight. It's like eight other people sitting with me. So I have one way about to get eight tips. So you and you and Kendall both in the same tip right now. So y'all spent all your bread around on the check, and you just looked at that check and said, "I would never give up." <laughs> that's all I'm hearing from you guys right Look, now. Man, so, you know, I don't think a lot of people out here have one. I don't think it's like the like the the res- kind of responsible thing to do. Hold on, let's, let's take this call Let's see who we got, man. Birds and the Bees, what's going on? Hello, this is Kendall Mom. How are you guys doing tonight? Hey! hey. Mom, what's going on? Hey. We said, what's going on? What's up, Mom? You hear us? Hello? You hear us? She got to turn the radio down. Turn your radio down so you can hear us, Mom. Uh, well, I'm just calling in on, on tipping um, and what Kendall has said. You you should tip. It's just uh, it's just etiquette. Okay, it's proper etiquette. Turn it down. Oh, oh, hold on. Let me get my pill, honey. <laughs> uh, what Kendall has said. You you should tip. It's just uh, it's just etiquette. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, Ma, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Hello? Hey, Ma, you tripping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, and I also agree that uh, uh, the, the woman could, could meet a little halfway or something because uh, they could meet halfway. Because you, you guys are young and, and uh, you have... you. Uh, put the gas in the car, mm-hmm. you're doing this and that, and, yeah. and I don't see anything wrong with that. So, pretty much that's all I have to say. Hon, I hope you had a good birthday. Uh, thank you, Ma. I love you too. But I'm glad you agree with me. You know, I'll be just spitting that truth, that real stuff, man. You know, it's what I do. Well, good night to you too. <laughs> but, but, what, see, but what about, like, okay, okay, all right. My bad, I ain't even cut you off, dude, but what about if, you know, the waiter did nothing the whole time and stepped on your nice black tail? Oh, yeah, we'll get the ball. Now we got Randy. He tried to get your girl the ball the back whole time. Oh, no, look, man, we'll get to my story in a minute, but. No, y'all no. flipping it. Y'all flipping it. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, y'all talking about if the service was terrible and all that good stuff. What if my man did a good job? You know what I'm saying? He was prompt. Asked you, came to the table a couple times, you need some more water, you need a refill, how's the service? Yeah, you, might like, get, you might get a solid dollar out of me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Crash. Wow. See, well, then again, my tip depends on the spot that I'm at. Like, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's it depends more, on the spot, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So you're telling me you're going to give out a solid $7 at Steak and Shake? I you know. It's no. better, bro. Like, it, it, so it, you're giving it, out it, seven at Steak and Shake? It's all about service. It's all about service. It shouldn't depend on, like... No, the, no, the company like no. You tell me about the personnel. Oh, hold on, hold on. Waiter. You telling me you just went in there to steak and shake and they got meals that's under four dollars. Nice no. solid meals. You will give them seven dollars. Look, man, <laughs> is that what you telling me? Your meal was four dollars, but you want about seven dollars. Come on, seven dollars, bro. Man, it all depends on what I get. Yeah, it all depends on what I get. Seven bucks. So, get so you telling me two dollars would be wrong if you just went and spent. Four dollars on a meal. Look, man, that'd be wrong. Even on the service, you could you like negative two dollars. We're not talking about that. Right? <laughs> if I could, I wouldn't give any of my money. What are you Look, talking man, about? All I'm saying is, it shouldn't matter what restaurant you're at. The person doing a good job, they deserve a tip. You feel me? Everybody no, I don't feel you. Everybody works like everybody has a job. We already know waiters get paid. I don't. I don't think it's minimum wage. I think it's under minimum wage because their tips they are do. supposed to make up 
for that. Mm. They are supposed to make up for the difference. You feel me? Right. So if you got people like Avery and Kendall out here. <laughs> out here talking you little tip. You go home broke. <laughs> they never go home broke. What are you talking about? They actually make it like four fifty an hour. So what they are you talking about? Four fifty an hour is that's boring, huh? Oh, I never said it was balling. <laughs> you said it go go home broke. They not go home broke. That's broke, broke, boy. They, they chose. They chose that it. job. They chose that. They job. don't get paid on. They don't get paid on Friday, just like you won't get paid on Friday. Or granted, rather or not, you working on you haul for the summer. But if not, then, <laughs> then <laughs> you must sit here and tell me don't give negative about balance. You, boy, man. That's Dude, not another story. I just want to know, see, Andy, you sound remorseful over there. Are they remorseful when they lay that hundred dollar check down in your face, boy? <laughs> Just for that small dish that's good, you're going to be hungry later on at night at 11? And I'll, I'll look over, and I'll look over at the person beside me and I'll say, look, bro, go in on this tip. At least it's not, not going to go, go in on the tip yeah, or anything. Yeah. How much? What, go in. All right, explain go in. You said seven. You said seven. Yeah. You said seven was too much. That's a little bit going in. Like, get, put in two dollars on this tip, baby. <laughs> bro, that's petty, baby. You might as well take it off if you don't do that. What do you want me to do? I'm not gonna pay the waiters life savings, but I'm definitely gonna offer some. You feel me? I'm so you gonna go? It. So you want to? So you want the bonefish? I'm not talking about the same dude that stepped all over your tail. I'm talking about when you wanted the bonefish by yourself. How much would you pay a tip? Cause you're not bonefish. It's for that big bank trip. Three dollars if it was smooth. Okay. So how are we sitting up and talking? Hey, now you talking about three dollars? I'm making sure. 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 I'm making
talking I, about the, the quarters, the dimes, all that type of change. Hey, you know, know what, bro? I wouldn't even be table. mad at that because I'll take it off. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. who wants 75 cents after waiting that table? It was like a waste of time. See, I think about Look, that man. type of stuff, but I just have no remorse. Look, <laughs> let me let me just okay okay all right, all right rank okay maybe so maybe, maybe you don't understand eat, maybe right, you understand basically. my remorse for waitressing and waiters. Well, Savi, I got a you know I got a big bill. Probably don't believe that right there, and I pay my card anyway. You already know how that go, but so I went up to Steak and Shake, right? Right. Are you listening, Randy? I'm listening loud and clear. Three separate occasions. Had the same waitress, right? Mm -hmm. Every single time I ordered something from her, it took her an hour as they said to bring me my food. An hour on that. <laughs> then, on, then on top of that, she had everything wrong, right? right. She even she even had a dial pack that she didn't even bring me the right drink. So I, it just got so bad to the point yeah, where that, I was that, just that's scared. definitely grounds. I just, no, 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 no tips. See, I feel you no, on no, that. no, 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 no. See, I left her a tip. Oh yeah, I left her a nice tip. I left her some coupons in her hat and my wallet. Oh my gosh! Hey, oh, my coupons God. for where, bro? For steak and shake. <laughs> oh, man, you a silly dude, man. That's I was so, work. but I, I was so mad, and then she, and then like I caught her one time because I, because she could tell I was mad. She dropped my food on my table. Wow. And I had some oh, chili. Oh, she came by with the. I, yeah, I had the, I had the, I had, the, I had the spaghetti chili, and it splashed all on my Nike crew neck. Wow. I don't know who gets spaghetti chili. But me, my mom makes spaghetti chili. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like steak and shake. So you really said, so you saying you don't know who gets spaghetti chili? So you saying that I'm weird and I came from my mother? Oh so you saying that you don't like my mom? No, that's what you said. Wow. That's, that's what you said. Back, boy. Oh, that's wow. what you said. I'll try to flip it. <laughs> but all I'm saying is, steak and shake. But you understand what I'm saying, though? No, I hear you. Steak and shake really does have a bad rep, though. This is my man's, my man's Dion of. You, shout out to him, he's acting right now, you know what I'm saying? But this is what he would do. We went to the we went to Steak and Shake one time, and what he would say is he would go up to the or the woman would come to the table and she asked for our drinks. And before she got to the table, he said, Look, man, I'm gonna ask her for a water with a lemon. If she comes back without a lemon in my water, she doesn't get the chip. <laughs> it doesn't matter how the rest of the night went. That's the early, <laughs> That's the early, That's the early side. The early test. This is just to put your foot in the water and see how this weather is gonna how, how this weather is gonna be, you feel me? And she didn't come back with that <laughs> lemon, and it was over with it for the rest of the night. Her service could have been a one, but because she wasn't paying attention at, at the very beginning. Do you condone that, Randy? That's what she lost. Hey man, it's a good test. You feel me? Randy, I, be out here trying to save. It's a good test. That's a good test. So you condone it. So you believe basically that everybody only deserves one chance, and no one's happy. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's what you're saying. No, that's what you're saying. You have a lot of morals behind your reasoning. So I basically, God, what you're man. saying is that everyone deserves one chance, and that I once they swear. mess up. They don't deserve another chance. That's his take. No, you just said you condone it. No, no, no. I condone condone that more than I can serve. That more than I condone you guys' morals about it, which is no tip, regardless. No, it's not no tip. No, it's not no tip. Regardless, sometimes we ask our our female. You guys don't tip at all. (laughs) (laughs) I'm kind of getting upset now, man. So Tara texted my oh phone. Oh my goodness, so man! So Tara just texted my phone, and she said, "Wow, three dollars." She said, "You." She said, "He was all of you guys is back for three Yeah. Wow. Mister McDonald's, Mister McDonald's, wow. Three. I want her to call okay, in and tell me how much. No, you don't want Tara to call in. She'll serve you. Oh, no, like, you, don't serve you. Don't you don't want to get served. You don't want to get served. What are you talking about? This dude talking about a value fries. Oh man, nothing though. You feel me? Oh man. You said four fifty. You said four fifty is their minimum wage. If I give him that three, they minimum wage going to add up to what somebody else's would be a seven fifty or eight dollars you feel me so hey, it's all adding up at the end of the day good job doing the math randy they guarantee at least 50 cents for you. <laughs> <laughs> you're all annoying you, man you know what man y'all are silly man we, we about to go into a little break real quick and get back into this it's all over my computer man yeah i am all over he it got today. back and he was all happy man <laughs> taking over right <laughs> all right so somebody sign us off birds and the bees oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's come in, man. good afternoon wow. What provider do you have? Comment on the tipping. On my mom's behalf, my mom said that you could tell a lot about a person wow. and how much they tip. That's right. 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 That's the she ran- can hear you. All right, all right, yeah. So, so if I tip the the regular Randy three dollars, the the McDonald's <laughs> meal, how does what does that say about me as a man? 
Well, I'm just okay. It depends. It's different leagues. If you're going out with a man and he's trying to impress you, and he doesn't care, to me, you got to really watch that. That's discernment. But if you go out like if you're a college student and you're going out and you know we all broke as college students, give me something a dollar change whatever that shows your heart. Right. I've been with people in corporate America that don't tip, and I don't trust those type of people. I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on where you are in life, but you should throw the road back some type of way. Yeah, I feel that. I, understand I definitely that. agree. Yeah, yeah. I agree 100. Really percent She said, "Even you yeah. can just even leave some change." See, that's me right there. See, so she, so she's speaking to me personally. She said, "Even, even leave yeah. some change." You a broke college student. You know what I'm saying? Our pockets hurt. I'm gonna leave fifty cent, and you can't be <laughs> mad. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be mad at me if I leave fifty cent one day. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying. I'm trying to leave you something. Right, but if this later on in life, you know we, you know we, we got some bands now. You know we trying to impress a lady. Then yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta ball out. No, see, it's you. You're the impressor. You are the ball out, man. I would have to be. <laughs> you have to be ball out, man. I'm talking about you gonna take her out on ninety dollar dates, and then you're gonna sit up here and you're gonna go take it to Fifty Shades of Grey, get all the popcorn, get all the slushies, get everything she wants. Is that the you put $200 you're not talking about me, man. No, I'm talking about you. <laughs> no, sound like Oprah has a Valentine's Day. I'm, I'm, talking, about right. talking, about you. I'm, I'm talking about you. I'm not going anywhere on Valentine's Day. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We had so many callers, man. About to get the man juice and trouble. Where's the beef? What's going on? Hey, what's going on? Y'all can't move on yet. I have to make one comment. Let's go, Mom. Avery. Chill. Chill, Mom. Chill, chill, chill. Go ahead. No, no, no. How do you expect good sun? And you are not gonna tip. You you don't want to tip, but you expect good service. What? They don't know until the end, mom. They don't know. What? They don't know until the end, they mom. Don't know. They don't know. Hey, <laughs> mom, I just don't want to have to bang on you, man. Whoop man, you bang on me, and I'm gonna come down there and whoop you. Chill, <laughs> something like that. I'm gonna tell you, mom. Chill. You don't want to tip. You cannot expect good service. And then you don't tip. That's absolutely clear. Cool. What if it was good? And that's what you should do. You think I would work hard and give you good service and smile and make sure I'm not spitting in your food and then you all want to wanna insult me with some little funky tip? I'm paid. I'm giving you good service. You all stop. Now, if, if that's your practice now, done. Stop it. Press the mic. Okay. Just whoop so your son. So you're taking my $3? You're taking Randy's $3? Hey. Randy, please, if you want to go to three dollars and tip, then stay right and take a shake. I know you're not going, and I understand the dude with the bonus. If he stepped on your foot, that means I wouldn't have gave him anything because that meant totally different. He was doing something totally different there. But three dollars, please, if you all flip and that's the job, not necessarily you wanted to have, but you had to have, please. too. And I'm going to give you good service. You guys, no, get a quit with that one. That's not correct. And I'm out. This is mine, and I'm out with that one. <laughs> All right, thanks, thanks for uh, giving us insight. You got every all quiet over here. Yeah, every, every, he's done. <laughs> Avery's all in his phone, he's done, man. man. He's not even interested in the that topic man's on anymore. Snapchat. He's upset. <laughs> wow. My mom just came out here to say, mom just came down here. But you know, you know, you, you want to know something? You want to know something crazy though? I still won't tip. <laughs> I still you know what? I, you should just ask her to put a couple extra dollars in your bank account. <laughs> to tip you, so you, can, so you can tip every time you go out. Well, tip on her behalf. <laughs> Birds and bees, what's going on? Hey, this is Steve. What's good, what's bro? Good, bro? Sitting on that topic about uh, the tipping, man. Come on. I, 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 I worked at a tipping job. And you you could tell when somebody was going to tip, you know, by the way they look at you. Like, people give you certain looks, and you could just tell with the what the tip's gonna look like. And I know that when somebody was handing me a dollar, I know that I have why I have drive their car and I know that it just it, it, it just doesn't end well for that person. You get you get the short end of the stick if you give a short tip. But I also like I also have been a big I mean I also have, you know, not tipped in the same sentence too because I mean sometimes if the service ain't right then you don't tip. But I, I don't agree with what you tip makes makes you look more of a man or makes you look more wealthy or anything like that. 
because I've known some wealthy people that don't tip big at all because if I'm paying a hundred dollars for a meal, ten percent of that, you killing it. So but that's all I gotta say. Here go Ombre. Whoa! Ombre, Ombre, Ombre. See the thing with me and tipping is after working for tips for so long, I really do value, you know, the tips. Like for example, uh, I went and got a tuna sandwich earlier, which was like six dollars, and I tipped two dollars. You know, I really do like understand that people really do need those tips because, like, the job I was working at for tips, I was making like four or five bucks, you know, an hour. And if you come through and don't tip, now I'm all, all right. It's cool. I got some for you because if you're a returning customer, it's going all bad next time you come in here. And a lot of people don't think about it like that. Like, yeah, you can play me on the tip once, but if this restaurant you like and you come back, you better hope you don't get me. Come on, be like, yeah, there's no dude that don't tip. Yeah, he gonna wait an hour for his first free water. <laughs> hey, that's a good point, man. I never thought about that. <laughs> think about the fact that if you're gonna return to these places, they're gonna remember you. Like, oh yeah, they're gonna. They're like a group of dudes, they come in here all the time, they super cool, but when they leave, they never tip. Uh, no, you came with a good point, man. I wasn't even here, because they, waiters do be acting all grimy sometimes. Let's think about that, though. <laughs> yeah. For real. Hey, but see, I don't go out to eat that much, so I'll be all right. Waiters are people, too. <laughs> Look, man, I'll sit here and be like, I'm ready cooking my nice stove in my house. I'll chill. My mom told me to cook. I'll be just fine. You know, city, man. All right, man, man he refuses to tip. He really does, man. No. But let's get into these next topic. Please. We're talking about double standards. We got to hit it fast, then we got to hit on break. Yeah, real quick. But uh, Avery asks, would you let your significant other dance if you weren't there at a party? You know what I'm saying? Dancing for... Oh, oh, man. Or if he was there. Or if he, wow, if he was there. Or if he was there. Or if he was there. This is why I just can't get with you. Black. That was just a, the ultimate banger, man. Oh my God! I know is the R&B king. You have to be. <laughs> oh my God, man! Dude, I wish we could have recorded Kendall back here just dancing to us. Oh yeah, I was, right. I was turning. No, he on wait. Uh, no, we can't even do it. I thought, yeah. I thought we was gonna have it on YouTube. Okay, <laughs> this is cool, man. No, but we've been we've been trying to get into this topic for a minute, but the car the line been going. Yeah. So we about to get into this double standards topic. You know what I'm saying? We want to know what's up. How y'all feel about these double standards? We gotta bring something to the table. Randy, get us in there. Yeah, but uh, off top, like we said, <laughs> or before we went to break, um, how would you feel about your girl dancing um, while you were at a party, or if, or if you weren't at a party, and as every brought up, if you were there, are you letting your your significant other dance? Um, like y'all gonna be on like the opposite side of the room, acting all awkward, and trying not to look at each other the whole time, or y'all just gonna be chill with it? I mean, or. I mean, we could just stay in the house. Period. What are you talking about? Avery, you... You, <laughs> oh, you gonna let him start off? Yeah, Avery's starting off, man, because he got me confused over here. Look, man. Y'all got a couple options. It's either y'all are gonna let y'all, you know, y'all sniff together dance with somebody, and y'all gonna be there and watch them dance with somebody else, you know, to, like, supervise a little bit, you know, Super keep them a little bit, you know, within the lines. Because I know a couple females out here, when y'all do go home, y'all will start tripping. A lot of here chaperone. around. Chef, what you about to do? You're watching everybody at home, man. What y'all doing, man? I'm about to serve you. I'm about to serve you. Make sure they don't get too dirty. What y'all doing, man? Where's the going on? What's up, baby? This is Jay. What's good, Jay? What's up, man? But yeah, man, I don't want to like my girl, you know, at a party, dance, whatever like that, if I'm not there. And I and I, I really want to like it if she was dancing, if I was there. That's not like a lot of disrespect right there. If you're there, and like she not dancing with you, but she dancing with other dudes though. That's my opinion. Oh yeah, we I agree with you on that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. Like if, if y'all don't got no understanding about it, like you know where you came to agreement, like oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? We cool, you know you still my baby or whatever, but you know we can just do what we want to do or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, where you gonna be at? You know that's some sometimes I think of it like that sometimes. It's on some, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's over with. I can't even, you know, I can't even do it. But I see what you're saying, because you don't want to touch nobody. He's, he said basically saying, like, yeah, he agreed, you know, um, basically because she's going to be coming home to you at night. But still, you know, he is, you know, still kind of being, you know, a little jealous, you know, a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
the dummy got stuck. Be cool with their significant other dancing with other people at a party, or even if they had a party with them. But I mean, I don't know. Me personally, I want to be cool with like, either or. Okay. All right. Wait. So, would you want? Would you? Do you think you should be allowed to dance with other girls at a party? I said that just comes with the communication. But I mean, I said, I mean, back in the day, I've been in a relationship for what, like three, four years, and I used to go to parties. I was really, I, I wasn't dancing with no uh, female because I knew how my throat was. John, 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 yeah, yeah, but um, I was about to say, like earlier, like when we first just got together, um, I, I was then I was at party dancing with other female, but as I got deeper into my relationship, I wouldn't dance with nobody for real. That's what I actually felt about that. Okay, 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 okay. We got right, you, Dan. Yeah. All right, bro. Hey, thanks for calling, Jay. Yeah, thanks for calling, bro. All right, man. All right. I don't know. Man, look, okay. So I'm saying, like, finishing the different options they got, Avery. Go ahead. So, you know, see, they're not going to let it happen. Right, chaperone. Or they are. Yeah. Or they're going to chaperone and be thirsty, because, you know, we do know a couple of them that do chaperone. Yeah. They ain't going to speak no names, especially in Tiffin, Ohio. <laughs> That's what I think about that. That's where I got my idea from. Oh, my goodness. Um, wow. Can we ever finish an idea here? We can't, bro. They love it so much. Birds and bees is going on. Oh, get me out of here. <laughs> oh, my God, man. And he was all contradicting himself and being the ultimate devil standard. <laughs> he was, bro. That's what we're talking what about. What happens bro. if I go to a party and my girl is dancing with another dude? Went to a party and it was a dude there. He was all dancing, trying to get at her and all that. And yes, I punched him right in his chest. <laughs> <laughs> Especially who he is, who the person is. Because nine times out of ten, if you and your girl going to a party together, y'all probably know the crowd. So you gonna dance with somebody I know? Now you're real disrespectful. So no, and, and, and you know it's not gonna be a double standard. I'm not gonna dance with nobody either. That's just disrespectful. Like, like wow, he don't care about his girl. He in here just dancing with everybody and, and vice versa. Like literally, like I was sitting down and I looked over there and and she was trying to be respectful. She was all like, awesome. Like you know, you can know you could see the lips. It was all chill. Like you know, like chill. Like she she knew. The raging bull was going to come across the room, and he just didn't want to act like he understood. And he got punched right in his chest, and I told him, hey, chill out now. So you had a chest tie to chest tie to So you're telling me if somebody put those cheeks on your lap, you would move them out the way? I mean, I'll give you a if, if somebody put the cheeks right on my lap, and I'm at the party by myself, I probably would still... Tell her to get off of me because everybody's a snitch in this world. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Okay, that's I can see where you're I can see, I, I can yeah, see where you're going with that. But what if you knew nobody there? Nobody knew your girl. Those cheeks were laid upon you. Dance on me. And it's going to be a cool little dance. And, <laughs> dance on, and my girl's going to be mad that I was getting danced on. And she's going to be all, well, go get those cheeks. And I'm going to tell her. Oh my god! 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 Oh Bring it whooped. Just those are the options. Okay, okay. They love it. They love it so much. I'm trying to have a conversation. Birds and bees, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, bro. Birds and bees, what's going on? Hey, man, this Steve, man. That last guy, he's an idiot, man. That he possibly believes that he could be communication or not. There's no way that you got a girlfriend and she's better. You dance with anyone else. Everybody's girlfriend is going to come across that room. Slap her weave off her head and slap him back to the car and make him drive home and suck her toes for the rest of the night. <laughs> 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 
so he can hear how much of a liar he is. <laughs> ever, ever. It, it would be like this. You know how like you're standing there like a girl looking at you and your girl standing there, but you're looking at her to make sure that she don't see you noticing the other girl standing at you? But she sees yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll be all, yeah, don't dance on me. I'm going to step two steps away from you so that you don't dance on me, and I don't want no parts of this at all. He's a, he's a liar. That guy, get him out of here. He should be banned from birds and the bees on topics like this. <laughs> Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Everybody else needs to watch their mouth on this show because everybody's out of control tonight. Rainy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's go, bro. Terrible. Look. Oh, my God. Hey, man, shout out to Ombre and Steve, man. They be looking off with it, man. They really do, man. You see how they come on here with the clean models? Yeah. Is it really that hard? It ain't that hard. It's not. It's silly, man. Look, I got another one, the worst one of all, though. All right. When it comes to, like, sexual things, if a girl was to have sex with 10 guys as opposed to a guy having sex with 10, 10 girls, like, it's looked at as different. Like, the guy would be praised as the woman wouldn't. That is the double standard. How do y'all feel about that one? That's a mm. Virgin Beach, what's going on? Mm -hmm. What's going on, man? What's going on? What's good, what's bro? What's good? The first time I want to say happy birthday to my boy, Kim Good look, bro. How's it going, man? Like... Why are you going to go to a party with your girl, man? You work hard 95% of the time. You know what I'm saying? Go out to the party with your boys, have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Dance. And then you come back home with your girl, let the music is. When you get a lot of time, you know what you go to a party for. Just to, you know what I'm saying? Just to mingle and have a good time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the most important thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? 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 Like, you know what Hey, I feel you on that. See, I be the same way, bro. I just want to kick with my, my, my dude sometimes. You go to the party with the girl, she be wanting to be all up under you and stuff. I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's annoying, you know what I'm saying? You don't want that all the time because you're going to be all up under at the end of the day anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that that's annoying. But then again, you know, girls that get to tripping with trust issues and stuff, man, I can't trust you at a party or whatever. But, you know, she can't trust you at a party. She can't trust you nowhere. You don't even need to be with her. So that's the way I feel about that, too. Today. <laughs> Off top though, good luck for calling in, bro. Let me say yeah, what's I'll up. Feel that. Yeah, we appreciate that, bro. Look, man, everybody just has you know, I got these headphones on, man. Everybody has a bad habit of trying to cut off big hills. I can't. Ain't no stopping them. Cause I can't hear them through the headphones, <laughs> man. They be just talking. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a lot going on here. Y'all know how that go. Yeah. All right, but but yeah, I feel that. I feel that point though, bro. Like I mean, like nine times out of ten, if you go to a party with your girl, it's like, I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with it. You know, y'all trying to step out and stun on everybody. But I mean, at the same time, like, you know, you going to a party, you going to want to kick it with your homie, you feel me? So, I mean, everybody need a little break every now and then. Get him out of here, too! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. I hope your girl comes to my party when I'm single so that I can tell you what happens when she dances on another guy. <laughs> Oh, oh, my God. God. Well, my girl, because first of all, when, if my girl is me, I'm going to make sure she's representing us as a couple. So she's going to be looking bad. So if she decides to dance with you, you're going to take a shot at her. And it was unavoidable if she just kept herself with her girlfriends in the nice taken group. You know, in that section of the world where you don't even walk over there because you know that everybody in that circle is going to tell you no, and that's exactly how it should be. True, I agree, I agree. Yeah, like, like, he talking about, see, that just shows the strength of his relationship or what relationship he's speaking of. Like, if you have to go without her because you're always with her, then obviously she's not the one for you. If you can get sick of someone, then they're probably not the one for you, especially if you don't want to go out with them. Being, a lot of people don't realize that being at home with your significant other is nothing like being in, in public with your significant other. Like, if we can't go out and enjoy each other's presence, being at home don't mean nothing because there's nothing to interfere with that. If we can't get along and, and, and have fun when there's other things in the atmosphere, then, then it gets all BS anyway. So get him out of here. I don't believe him. He's probably the same guy who would be all, come on, man, why you have to dance with him? You do it, go get back to me. They call me after the party. Thank you, bro. He was fooling, bro. <laughs> but, but look, though, 
He never said that he was tired of his girl and that. See, you know, you jump into conclusions. You're going to get that man in trouble. You get sick of being with your, with your other sometimes, and you might want to go out and have a good time by yourself or whatever, which would mean that he was sick of being with her, or maybe he's ashamed of her. I don't know. I know personally I'm not going to be with nobody I'm not willing to go out with and be seen with. You know, it's just... He's not with whatever the aspect he was speaking to shows the, the the lack of you know strength within his relationship. Regardless, if you if you can't go home with your significant other, there's a problem. Either you're hiding something, they're hiding something, or, you know, or or you're just not not proud of being seen with them. Which means either way, you shouldn't be in that. Have you never taken a break from being with your female? So it's like. If we decide that we go back, because I know a lot of dudes be like, all right, I'm about to go out. And the girl might be like, all right, can I go? And they'd be like, no. You know, it's totally different if, like, I'm chilling and, and Steve calls me like, yeah, we about to go out, da 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 and we just go. But if she's in the equation and you, like, you, can, you can't go or when we go, like, we separate when we get there. Like, because that's kind of like what he was saying, like, like I don't want to be all her, but we're out in public and everything. What is, are you ashamed of it or, or what? Like, if she's there, why can't you be all hugged up with her? Like, you know, you chose to be with that person. You're going to be hugged up with her when the lights are off, you know, in the, in the room dark or whatever, but you're scared to be hugged up with her when, when the bright lights is on and everybody looking. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, you just came with a banger, boy. You all over Deb. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, like I said, that's that's part of, like, stunning and going out with your girl, man. You want everybody to see right. how you all... All eyes on you all. Right. Man. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't hear that right. Yeah, he came with the he came with the good point though. Yeah. But okay. So let's talk about the other you know, the other double double standard. Because we keep getting you know, off the topic. But body count. Okay, the body count. Crucial numbers. Body count. The numbers. Stats. Crucial. Body count. But the stats read. The stats can get crucial. I wanna know like like what what which type of statistics does a guy have to have? No, I mean it 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 can go both ways, man. Cause I I know a lot of females, you know, this person that they be salty and turned off by dudes with a lot, you know, with, with hot body counts. I mean, so I, I feel like I, I, that's why I feel like we need some female opinions on this. Cause I mean, yeah, but I also know girls who said they don't want a guy who's inexperienced too. So yeah, it can that's go why both I said ways. it can go both ways. Real quick with y'all, from a male perspective, what's y'all take? Real quick. Little thirty second spot of how y'all feel about it. Mm, two to right three, two to three, she's great. You're not right. gonna find it. You're not gonna find it. It's rare. It's mad rare. Yes, yeah, it's, it's rare. Two or three, two to three, she's great. Let's be realistic here, man. Hey, if she only four got to six, that's that's cool. She's godly. You know, she only got two to three. She's godly. She's still messing with her ex while she's messing with you, boy. That's what that is. That's what I mean. That's because that she got. She gotta be like that because if she only got two or three bodies. That mean that she just, you know what I'm saying, she just conserved herself. She been messing with this one dude. She don't right. want to move on for real. Like, because if not, she going to be jumping. Like, is she going to get wow. jumping from body to body? Because that's just the fact. Your girl's no boy? No. <laughs> what are you talking about? Wow. So what's a good, what's a good number for you? What's a good number, a good number, a good number right. for you? I'm 20 years old. So, if you know, if I put him on my age, I would say I'm going to give him like eight. Alright, we'll hold you to that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to talk about this. Version of bees, what's going on? Hi, um, this is Samantha. Samantha. What's up, Samantha? Samantha? <laughs> my opinion on it basically is I feel like as a lady, my goods and my jewels are supposed to be for, you know, someone special. Not somebody you go with for a month or two months, but someone special. And I feel the same way. I don't want a man that's not clean enough to have, you know, my girl. Sexual partners, and I don't want you. You're not classy enough for me. I need my dude to be classy. I need you to respect yourself enough. Because I'm who's keeping your private thing. So, that's my take on it. Does, it makes him dirty because he's had more partners than you? Um, I wouldn't say necessarily dirty, but I look at it as, like, you know, a little unpolished. Like, I don't know. Like, you be the polished up if you walk around here. I think that's very childish and immature to walk around just taking your private than anybody. Like, what? Like, what? Okay, what's a good number for like the male to have at our age? Cause you, yeah, you my age twenties. What's a good number for the male to have? <laughs> I'm just being honest. I don't. I don't really. I don't know. Cause me and my boyfriend been together for since I was born. So I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Like, 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 I'm not
Sorry, don't know. But I know I don't want know nobody in like the fifties or nothing. That's extreme. That's too many souls, and I'm not. I'm not trying to get on that train. You feel me? Okay, that, that's kind of ridiculous. You know, let's all right. Bring it down. Give us a, a ideal number. Okay, well, let's see. I don't, over twenty is too much. She said what she said. Over twenty is too much. You said over twenty is too much. That is too much. Okay, 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 okay. That's reasonable for our age. It's like yeah. okay. She said happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I can't hear you. Say that one more time. <laughs> All right. All right, thanks for calling. All right, he's already touching my soundboard. Missing everything. Y'all be trying to play out with our mics, man. Yeah, man. They'll uh, open their kids and sing. I hear the kids, bro. I hear the kids over here tripping. They'll only hear the kids. That's what he said. I hear both of them. Right. Right. I saw that. He's tripping. Where are the beans? What's going on? I feel bad with the body count things. Everybody got their own opinion.
you know, like, it'd it be dudes out here with, with 50 bodies, and they like, she smashed, you know, 12 dudes. She smashed 15 dudes. I can't, I can't take her serious. Why can't you? You can smash three times that, but because you a dude, it's okay. Yeah, what happened in 30 seconds? Big on you! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! And why Amber came with that insight, you know, because he really touched base on that cleanliness problem that Samantha was having. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I don't know, man. You know where you? I, I understand where he was coming from. Then he talking about he, he want to go out in the city with his girl and stuff, and he's going to see people that they, they didn't mess with. Yeah, that would probably be annoying. Especially in Cleveland, man. Everybody know everybody. In man, Cleveland, but what did man? What is that called? Small world out there, man. What did J. Cole say, man? I'm talking about body counts, man. Does anybody know? Randy got that quote for me? Oh, man. What did Cole say, man? You know he say she only... Clean it up, though. Yeah. She say she only cracked about four or five dudes, so you know you got to multiply by three. Really? <laughs> that's so, all I got to say. Hey, y'all are silly, man. <laughs> that's all I got to say. I don't yeah. know, man. We live in the world of double standards, though, man. So, I mean, yeah. it, it, it don't even stop at that. All right, Juice, would you want your girl to have less body than you? In theory, yeah. yeah. In theory, <laughs> we yeah. We're talking about theory. We're exactly. talking right now, real life, right now. In real life, yeah. What's, right, right, what, what's your ideal number for your age? <clears throat> you be 20 next week. What's right, your ideal right, number? Right, right. I say between five and seven. Five and seven. Seven pushing it, but five. Yeah. <laughs> seven pushing it. You feel me? Uh, seven pushing it. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Hi, this is Patrice. Hey, you know, hey what's going on? So my opinion on the topic is that the amount of bodies, like female or male, that you have does not devalue you as a person. Like, that doesn't make you any less of a person or that's not going to, like, make me look at you any less. But it shows how much you value yourself <laughs> and, like, I can't just be with any someone who's gonna be with anybody and everybody. Like I personally would want to be with somebody with ten or less bodies, and that might sound extreme, but I don't really care because for me, I value myself and value, um, you know, the people who I'm with. Like it's just like sex just doesn't mean sex means more to me than the half like the way it means to half the people in my generation. So. Personally, um, the body count's never been, I never know if someone be like, you have like 15 bodies or 20 bodies, like, ew, you're disgusting, but I personally would not like to be with you because I feel like you don't value sex as much. So you, you, you don't care, but then you would lay with them and still not talk to them. You're, you're kind of contradicting yourself. You no, know, I said that I would never judge somebody off of that. Like, men are like, oh, she has so and so bodies. Like, she's disgusting, blah, blah, blah. But I'm saying, personally, I would not sleep with that person. I think I would. Because I, I don't. I mean, I feel like sex is more than just being with anybody. Like, I agree with the girl who talked before. But I, what I'm saying is that it's the body, your body count, like, the double standard of, oh, that girl is, um, uh, I'm not going to say that word because I can't say it on air, or that boy is that way, um, that's like, like, a double standard. But what I'm saying is that, I mean, I'm not going to be with somebody who doesn't value, like, sex as much as I value it. So, that's... Okay, so I, I think I got what you're saying. You're saying that, you know, you, you were speaking in general at first. You were saying that, you know, in terms of, like, Everybody else shouldn't be judged off their amount of body, but when it comes to you personally, right? You, you, you can't get. With I feel you on that saying no too, though, because sex is important to me. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't rock the way we do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I know that there are a lot of other people, so I don't expect everybody to agree with. Me. I got you, but we do buy your your opinion on this show. Oh, we appreciate always you calling appreciate in. You. No problem. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. What she was saying wasn't really clicking to me, though. She was talking about she it didn't matter, and then it did with her. But I mean, she was speaking off of it. Like, she was like, yeah, realizing it at first, yeah. and then she broke it down to herself. Yeah. How can you tell? How can you say somebody else shouldn't care, but then she does care? It's Steve. What's good, bro? What's, what's good, bro? It's 
my opinion on this is like I've always been the type that never really cared what a girl's numbers was because I feel like you know like it's the H word is situational. I feel like you know the girl could have had ten boyfriends. You know what I'm saying? That means you know that does that make her uh, the H word? Does that make her out here for real? You know? I mean, not for real. Like all, all she could have, she could have had. Ten boyfriends and each relationship lasted for a year. You're not gonna give your boyfriend some after a year, you know. So I don't, I don't think you know your number somewhat makes you out here. I think just the way you go about it, you know. If I'm, uh, I just met this dude and I think he got it, so I'm about to slang it to him. And yeah, you out here. But if you know, I've been with you. I'm rocking with you. I feel like I'm in love with you in some sort of a way then what, it doesn't matter that you gave it up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because in our generation, sex is approved, you know? But as far as a guy, I mean, <clears throat> I definitely don't believe guys should just be out here just slanging it, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, as a guy, it's more freely available, and girls, you know, it, it's easier for a guy. Like, it doesn't mean as much for a guy. Like, we don't have the inner feelings that girls have when sex is created so it's easier for a guy to just slang this slang that and then be like i mean i'm good you know what i'm saying but i mean with all the diseases that are going on out here we definitely got to be more aware of what's going on but i don't think the number personally matters in a relationship if you're all feeling each other and you feeling me i'm feeling you and let's go off that you know that's that's how i feel about it yeah i feel you bro for real yeah all right, thanks for calling, Steve. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, y'all, but you know what I'm saying we touched this topic a good amount. Probably not as much as we oh, wanted to. Love it. Yeah, man, they love it so much. Now, I'll tell you what, this is a phone call. call yeah. Birds and the bees, what's going on? You know, I just want to make one last statement on this topic. And we to the girl prior, you know, and I don't want to disrespect her. I'm not disrespect for the women in any way, but I just want to kind of give her some food for thought, and it is that I guarantee you, me with my body count will do you a lot more justice than him with his two body count or one body count that you're looking for, and yes, I'm tested, so there's nothing to worry about, that's all I'm saying, you have to take the good with the bad of, all right, yeah, get you a dude with one body, with one body. He doesn't know what he's doing. Get you a dude with 25 bodies who's tested. You know he's clean. And I bet you he know what he's doing a lot better, too. Look, man, my mama listened to this show, bro. This boy is silly, man. He bang. We out on that, though. So we're going to slide back on this break, man. We're going to slide back. It's Wordplay Wednesday. Y'all know we got to end it with that. It's always Wordplay so Wednesday. So y'all get y'all bars together. We forgot, man. It's Wordplay Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? Come up here. Give me poems. You know what I'm saying? If you got bars, spit those too. Whatever you got. Just come with it. You know what I'm saying? It's Wordplay Wednesday. Get ready. Is that your sign off? Nah, I, don't. I heard it, man. That was your sign off. I'm that just going to play the music. Oh, 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 should I, should I slide? No, I'm here, Julie. No, I'm excited, man. Wow, Juice about man. to spit something. You know hey, what man, saying? I just wrote something real quick, man. I, I tried, man. So, like. Randy, you got another one for us? Come, oh, man. I'm about to slide to the mic, man. I'm about to slide to the mic, bro. Alright, man. Right, man. Bring him out, bring him out. Wordplay Wednesday. Southern Bridge Shorty had to say a little something on the show today. Yeah, you know I talk slit seat back in the whip, swinging bang. I be bumping big crit all day. Now you know I'm on my grind, but it's gonna come a time when I find me a nice little shorty that's gonna have my back and hold me down. <laughs> Homie, I ain't got no clue. Hey, hey. So then I'm gonna be by mine. And you heard it straight from Zeus. <laughs> Hey, turn up. Hey, how was that car, bro? We waiting on you, man. It's time, man. We waiting on you so we can get him out of here with these beggars, boy. This man is all excited today, man. Hey, I am excited today, man. She I'm knows. too hyped right today, man. Y'all done got me all the way turned up, man. With these bangers and everything. I'm she sorry knows. I don't got no words for y'all supposed to come with some words, but I don't got them. I'm just bounce back, man. Bounce back next week. Next man. week I'm coming with a banger. I'm gonna have some something, something long for y'all. Just a straight banger. I'm coming. 
Forget it. Bangers. We got his brother. Bro. I think that's Ombre. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Ombre. It would have to be. It would have to be Ombre. That I didn't get to do one today that I wrote already. I've been working on this piece, though, that's not done, so I'm going to give y'all what's done. I got it's a, this is a group of uh, young African-American males hosting the show. I think it's, it's good to appreciate that, you know, well-spoken young men. So it's called Surgeon's English. We are all black brothers who speak Surgeon's English, setting up sentences with remembrances of incidents leading our innocence into sentencing. <laughs> We're trying to take privileges and privileges not meant for them. I'm talking about strong brothers who cannot spell Ebonics, who words you in a controlled, powerful stream, tearing down stiff man statistics, making those prejudice free judges understand that black and intelligent is very realistic. Tone speaking powerful messages with the passion embedded in them with the wits sunk into our elders' backs from lashings. Statements vast enough to show you the relationship between how we were treated now and how we were treated back on the ships. But this ain't no slave form unless it's still a slave term. Don't teach yourself, don't treat yourself. Surgeon's English. Oh boy! Uh, what? Don't know how to spell it, bro. It's just every week. Every week, it's on another level, bro. Come on, y'all. Remember calling in, bro. You're Steven background going crazy, man. You had the eyelids going. Yeah, he did. Hey, man. I just wrote something, man. Okay. <laughs> I, quick. I just wrote real something, quick. man. I'm hey, coming in tonight on the birthday, man. I'm coming in. We're coming off, man. and then we dropping this banger. My mom was mad because I didn't drop all the bangers I told her I was, but this last one is definitely a banger. So I'm about to drop these little soft bars, real soft though. When I say soft, don't be upset at me. Real soft, okay? <laughs> real soft, and then we gonna drop this banger, and we out. All right, here we go. It's my birthday, boy, it's my birthday. <laughs> and if you mess with Kells, turn up for my birthday. And I need a cup, cause I'm getting thirsty. Once again, turn up for my birthday. Hey, man, hey, man turn up, man. It's Birds oh, and the Bees, y'all know how we do, man. Y'all gonna catch us again on Monday. Oh, yeah, for sure. We are here, <laughs> boy. I'm glad y'all was listening. And we got the new listener. I'm glad y'all called in. Deb, shout out to you. Oh, Jazz yeah. and her mom. Thank, thanks for calling in and stuff. We everybody. Yeah, hey, yeah, we need everybody for real. Hey, man, have a great weekend, though. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Day. Yeah, y'all have fun. Be safe. Do wrap, it up, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Uh, keep it okay. safe, man. Keep it safe. We out of here. Hey, <laughs> <laughs>